how to create vertical menu in Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a vertical menu on Wix sites. It is very easy and simple to do. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the, the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. Now we are on Wix.com. We have the websites that we have created. As you can see here, I have built uh, or built a lot of uh, websites. I'm going to choose one of them and apply the method. Right here, I'm going to use uh, this one or this one. This one, select and edit the site, and here it will uh, pop up or show up the dashboard of Wix. Here we have the menu. This is uh, the famous site menu of Wix. And here we have the steps that we have to complete so everything will be in order, such as domains, etc. etc. Now, the thing that I have to do is to edit the website or edit site. Click on here on the pen, and now it will be loading the website. It will load up in a few seconds, and I will start making the changes to or add the elements. As you can see, the website is fully loaded. Now, I am going to add this famous vertical menu. We have two methods here. I'm going to apply the two methods and it is up to you to choose whatever suits you. The first method is to click on elements. Then you are going to add directly the vertical menu. Where or where are you going to find this vertical menu? It is very simple. As the name of it, vertical menu, menu, we come to the menu and anchors. Here we have the menu, we have the themed menus, horizontal menus, and the vertical menus. I'm going to choose, for example, a vertical menu. Uh, these are uh, some vertical menus that you can go ahead and select. I'm going to select this one, for example, this is much simpler. And here, as you can see, we have this one. And it is, uh, as you can see, uh, has uh, some pages linked already. You can go ahead and modify this. I'm going to click on this menu. We have navigate or manage menu. If you want to manage the menu, you can see right, right here what that we have on the subscription, contact, and we have also book online here the contact has a anchor menu which is shipping and returns which is hidden the store policy faq search results and etc now i will not bother with this one but i am going to let you see that we can add menu items here on the menu i'm going to click on we can select a uh, a page and link it Select a section or an anchor. I am going to add a new page, for example. Let's go ahead and add a page for the menu to let you see that it is uh, fully functional. Uh, here are the services. We have the pages. Let's go and add some services. Add a new page. This is the page that I'm going to add to the menu. And here, this is the, uh, the page. I'm going to click on done. And here we go. Now I'm going to the home. Right now, I will see home. And as you can see, we have this this uh, vertical menu. I can go ahead and make it a little bit uh, smaller and place it wherever I want. It is up to you to manage the spaces right here to make sure that everything will go well. Here, for example, you can go ahead and modify whatever you want. Here we have the uh, manage menu. We have the navigate. You can see here, you can navigate through your website. We also have some settings to the uh, this menu. I have to set as advanced. Then I'm going to click on uh, set as advanced. And here we have the, uh, the services, subscription box and etc. If you want to modify something, rename, remove, um, you have to set uh, the settings as SEO or hide it from the menu, you can't go do it right away. But if you want to normally manage the menu, you can go ahead and use this. You can add a menu or, or do whatever you want. This is for the first method. Uh, also, you can go ahead and design this. You can put a custom design, for example, you can go ahead and change the 
uh, the menu for example you can go ahead and make this as uh, highlighted like this or make this uh, or make these underlines make it under a box like this like that or you can go ahead and click on customize we have the fill color and opacity here you can put a submenu background which is up to you this is fully transparent we have the shadow we can apply some shadows for example you can go ahead and choose the angles and here we have the text menu you can go ahead and select the theme the fonts and the color of the text the font size for example like this you can make it bold and uh, underlined also we have the sub menu text and also we have the spacing this is for the regular here we have the hover you can see the color of the hover the clicked and etc now this is for the uh, menu now let's go ahead and add the other method that I was talking about the first thing that you have to do is to click on the add element right here I'm going to interactive and through the interactive section I'm going to select the light boxes and here we are going to choose for example a light box from one of these you can go ahead and add or put whatever you want I'm going to choose this contact and here I'm going to put this one now for the image you can go ahead and uh, delete the image but if you want to add a custom image you can go ahead and put the image that you want here for text I'm going to modify the text to useful links useful links for example links and this is the beginning of this one uh, here we have uh, these uh, columns if you want to put them away like this or you want to delete them it is up to you but if you want to let them it is up to you also I'm going to add again on click on add elements here on the menu and anchors I'm going to select a a menu right here this is the vertical menu also and here boom we are good to go here are the uh, vertical menu with another or a separate page we have it right here I'm going to click on save now for the next step is very simple I'm going to click on pages and menu here I'm going to put or click on a site menu click on home it will take us to the home section I'm going to add another element right here to be able to access the vertical page or this the page that we have created I'm going to click or you can add a button either a button for example or you can add a some for example from decoratives I'm going to see here on the shapes uh, more basic shapes I'm going to add the three horizontal parallel lines Let's go ahead and search for lines here we have lines click on enter it will search and I will add this add to page it will be added right here we have the parallel lines I'm going to put them for example like this where are they they have disappeared now we have these parallel lines these are the parallel lines I'm going to make them like this and then all I have to do is to click on link here it will be uh, showing us the where we are wanting or where we want to link this these parallel lines I will click on lightbox and here which lightbox page I'm going to put the announcement or the reopening that we have created click on done simply click on save also it will be saving then I am going to preview the step that we have made before publishing here as you can see this is the useful links we have a fully functional links you can go ahead and customize these links or make some words then you can link them to other pages external pages or internal pages it is up to you we have subscription box contact book and here we have the image and everything is good when you click on this X button you will be guided back to the website this is very simple and very clean that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching I hope to see you soon on the next one